If your price fister single handle shower valve is leaking and you need to replace the cartridge, this is how you're going to do it. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and put a towel down over the drain in case you drop one of the little screws you're going to remove. It doesn't go down there. If you have a lever handle, you're going to go ahead and remove that Allen screw out of the side of it. And if you have an acrylic handle like the one on the left, you're going to find that fellow that says screw down in there and go ahead and remove it and it will just pull straight off the cartridge. The next thing you're going to do is unscrew this sleeve right here. It is attached directly to the cartridge and pull that discussion off where you can get to those screws back there that we're going to look at. Now if you do have a lever handle it will probably have this little extension in it so you will just unscrew that. And then you're going to go ahead and remove those screws. Needless to say, be careful when you're doing this not to drop those down the wall. They are brass, so you cannot stick a magnet down the wall and get them out. Um, that has happened to me once and only once, but it did uh, consume a lot of time. And then you will remove that little uh, retainer plate right there and you'll be able to pull the cartridge out. And as you see, this cartridge did not come out in one piece, so you can just reach and narrow some needle nose and pull the back side of the cartridge out. And when you do that, make sure that the two O-rings that you're fixing to see in the back of here come off with the back of the cartridge. Sometimes they get stuck in the back of the valve body, so make sure they come out. And then that little W looking piece on the bottom that you see in the new cartridge always goes on the bottom. So now with the new cartridge in, we're going to reinstall that retainer plate right there and go ahead and run your screws back down. I do want to say while we're looking at this that that foam around there is in amazing condition. So when everything gets tightened back down, that's what keeps the water sealed out from getting behind the tile. Um, here we are going to set our skull guard. It has little teeth on it and you just simply pull it out and put it on your desired setting and I always little, leave a little tiny gap there to the right so the valve will actually shut down when you turn it in the off position. Now you do have to be careful when you reinstall this sleeve. Uh, this is pretty easy to cross thread that so that's why you send me winding that sleeve back and forth like that so I can get a good start on the threads and now we're going to go ahead and run this sleeve down and you'll notice that groove in the back right back there is what actually makes that uh, scushion plate really tight when you wind that down and keeps things from leaking in the tile behind the wall and that is really all there is to this is very easy and oh yeah <laughs> don't forget to tighten your screw back up <laughs> 